Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Tonight we're gonna be making sear tuna. So we have two sushi grade tuna pieces. First we need to make marinade. We're gonna marinate it for 15 minutes and then we're gonna fry it for about two to three minutes. So the whole thing gonna take us about 20 minutes to make dinner. Okay, let's begin. For our marinade, we're gonna need two tablespoons of soy sauce. one tablespoon of sesame oil, one tablespoon of honey, half a teaspoon of pepper, black pepper, half a teaspoon of salt, and one fourth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. We mix everything. That smells amazing. I know. Sesame oil smells so, so good. This marinade is really, really good. What I also do, I like to reserve half a tablespoon of this marinade for later so we could dip our tuna in there but I also make a sauce that I'm gonna show you later how to make it so now we begin with our tuna the steak is very thick and I don't like it so I like to cut it in half just like this and also cut it like that And I do the same with the second steak. Because it's too thick and it's gonna take too much time to cook it and it's gonna be well done. You would like to eat it raw because it's sushi grade tuna and it's gonna be too cold inside. So we cut it thin, so one minute on each side and it's gonna be done. Okay, we dip it in our marinade. Just like this all the sides and we'll let it stay like that for 15 minutes fish doesn't need to be marinated longer than 15 minutes and it's gonna be ready to sear okay so while our tuna is marinating we're gonna make sriracha mayo you could buy sriracha mayo in the store but believe me once you make it your own you will never go to this stuff because this stuff is garbage garbage you don't want it we need this much of mayo regular mayo we're making japanese mayo actually in order to make japanese mayo you need regular mayonnaise with a little bit of honey mustard so we add a about a tablespoon of honey mustard we mix everything up just like so and now we get our mayo like this and we'll make a design just like that okay now sriracha yeah I could never make it very pretty but we're not looking for perfection we're looking for deliciousness and believe me my friends this sauce is gonna blow your mind away with the seared tuna. So now it's time to get our tuna ready. Come to the stove with me. And now we need to preheat our pan. It actually needs to be very hot. So we add about two tablespoons of oil. And we gotta let it heat up. It has to be very hot. Okay, we take our tuna and we place it on a very hot pan. Okay, let's say it's okay. Let's work, let's. Oops. We need to work fast, otherwise, everything gonna be in oil. Ugh. That's the worst, but who cares? Okay, 
time. My tuna is very thin, so I would say about a minute. About a minute on each side. Because some slices are thinner, but I like it well done, and my kids like it medium rare. So one minute is gonna be enough. So now, our tuna we're cooking about a minute on each side. It's very thin, I cut it very thin. So if you guys like it raw inside, you gotta cut it, you gotta leave it thick that much. So some slices I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you, some of them look like this. So this is medium, this is kind of medium rare. This is medium rare. And uh, for example, this slice, this slice is well done. And my kids like it medium rare. So this is the thickness. This is about a minute on each side on the medium heat, so you see the difference. So now it's time to plate. And we plate it like this, like this, like this. And for that, we need some green onion and some sesame seeds and voila dinner is ready time to taste and the way you guys eat it you gotta take a little bit of red sauce, mix it with our mayo, just like that, and mm. Mm. yummy, yummy. Could I try? Okay, guys. Samuel wants to eat, so I have to go. If you don't want to miss any of my next videos, please subscribe to my channel. And thank you very much for watching me. See you in the next episode. Let's try this. Bon appetit. Mm. Kobe wants it! Yay! Ma, you're done yourself.